When you first log into Seesaw, you will see your class journal. Click on the Activities tab to start a new activity. When you click on the Activities tool, you will see any activities that are available for you. Find the activity that you're looking for and read over the instructions. You can also click on Play Instructions if it is available. To start a new activity, click Add Response. Select your name if prompted. Let's first look at the camera tool. Click on the camera icon. When you click on camera, you can use any one of these three green buttons to take the picture. You can rotate the pic camera in the top right corner. Click on Upload and select a picture from either your computer or your camera roll. Once you've added your picture, you can move it and resize it to your liking. Good job! Now let's click on the next slide to continue. Let's look at the text tool. Use the text tool to type your name. The default is to have this black text and font. I can click on the three little dots and click on the style to change the font or the text style. I can also click on the color to change the color. I can click on the nodes to make it bigger or smaller. Let's look at the move tool. Make sure to select the move icon down here at the bottom and we're going to move the numbers in order from least to greatest. I can first click on the item and then move it around as I need to. Let's look at the drawing tools. I have a pencil, pen, highlighter, or glow pen. I'm going to use these to circle my favorite activity. If I click on the pencil a second time, I can change the size of the mark. I can do this for the pen, the highlighter, the glow pen as well. I can also click over here to change the color of my tool. My favorite activities are volleyball and singing. Let's look at shapes. If I click on the three little dots and then click on shapes, I will see the shapes library. Choose your favorite shape. I like music, so I'm going to choose the treble clef. I can then move it to where I would like on the screen, resize it, rotate it, and change the color. Let's look at our last tool. We're going to use the eraser tool to discover a hidden picture. If I click on the eraser, I can click on it a second time to change the size of the eraser or to erase the entire drawing. So if I click on my eraser, you did a great job. Now I can click on the green check to submit my work. You're done.